Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in, Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Marvel Contest of Champions and I have enough Primordial Level 2 Dust to ascend another champion and today we're going to ascend the Kingpin but first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or a comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So we're looking at our six stars right now. Um, you can see here I already have a Hercules, a Scorpion, a Nimrod, Aegon. And the only reason that I ascended Aegon was for Necropolis. And then he goes back on the shelf. Nick Fury and Black Widow. Um, right now I don't have a Mutant. And I don't have a Mystic, but that's okay. Uh, we've got 300 uh, Tier 2 Primordial Dust. Now you can see here Kingpin is maxed out. He is a SIG 200. He is a rank 5. He's awakened, all that stuff. But he is very low PI. But he is one of the most effective champs. So here we go. Upgrade, yes. Ascend, 900,000 gold. Okay, we're, we're here with 80. We don't need to do anything else. Okay, and he all of a sudden goes up. He all of a sudden goes up quite a bit. So he's at 30,354. We are going to take him in and uh, look at his Winter Soldier Index. So we're going to take him in first to Realm of Legends. And this is the team I'm looking at. So we've got a full synergy team on him. Now I've got, um, if we look at the synergies on him, I've got several going right now so we've got an ultron so that increases his crit rate well his crit damage rating i've got a hood in here which increases his purify ability and i chose i thought i brought in uh we're missing somebody here who are we missing okay and i am gonna bring in the Angela with the Heimdall for an extra Fury. Okay, and let's begin, and we're going to go up against... I, I was thinking about bringing in the Daredevil, but um, I kind of thought the Fury would be a little bit better. We're going to get our Rages no matter what, so I'm not too worried about it. So I am running Suicide, so he will click those off immediately and get Rages off of that because of the Hood. If you don't bring the Hood in, so if we look at his uh, info here... What we're looking at right now is his Rage. So he has a base chance of 60% to purify any... I don't know why that just did that. He has a base chance of 60% to purify any non-Rage debuff. So he cannot purify Rage. Rages are things he gets himself. And gain a Rage when he does that. Um, Kingpin takes damage, he gains a Rage. So, it's a 60% chance, but with the hood, it's 100%. So, that's why we're bringing that in. And then he gains rages uh, as he does his specials as well. Um, particularly special 2 and special 3. Alright, so let's get into this here. Kingpin. So, we're looking to see how long and how many hits. And you can see we started out with 6... Rages. I should have actually let him hit me there. And now I'm raging. And we're going to go... Okay, that didn't work. Okay, he's going to be stunned after this. And you can see I also heal, too. He's going to be stunned after this. And he's going to be stunned, and we want to get that. And we're going to get this extra fury now. So now we got two. And the fun is going to begin now. And now we're going to hit him. Look at that. 20 grand and gone. How long and how many hits? And I actually let him hit me on purpose a couple of times. So we've got 54 seconds, 53 hits. That is awesome. That is great. Uh, I, I love it. And he's at 100% health, too, because uh, I have willpower on, and he is a very suicide-friendly champion. 
So he has his own, his rages are debuffs, which means that they will trigger willpower. All right, now we're going to take him into the Thronebreaker side quest here, not proven. And we're going to take him into this one right here. This is a skill one, but it's a skill one. We're going to use the same team, but it is a skill one uh, that that is dependent on um, uh, damaging debuffs. So he has one for his special one, so we'll be uh, using that. We're going to take him, I think we're going to take him up against this. We're going to take him up against this Diablo here. All right, let's see. And what else does Diablo have that we need to be careful of? He's got Striker Vulnerability and Rapid Metabolism. Okay, and we're going to be proccing special ones on this one because they'll put a, a degen on. So boom, 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 boom. And as soon as this... So these go away 40% faster. And I'm going to back off because I want this. And I've already gotten one of these. And I got hit. Nope. Nope. Being too enthusiastic. Okay. All right. And there we go. Then I'm getting hit a lot. Wow. All right. There we go. There we go. Not too bad. We're gonna go one more fight here. And now I wanna, I wanna highlight his ability to, to regenerate, to gain health. So he's at 62% right now. We're going to gain this. And... We're going to go all the way. And these guys have striker vulnerability. All right, here we go. All right, and this will take care. And we're at 65 health. So you see, I already gained 3% from what I came in at. And gone. All right, so that is, that kind of highlights his ability to, he doesn't regenerate as much. Um, so if we look at his champion info, he doesn't regenerate as much as some other characters do because his base regeneration is set at 50% instead of the normal 100%. But he does gain health over time because he does shrug off one of those debuffs uh, from, uh, from his suicides. So, all right, that's what I got for everybody today. I hope everybody enjoyed, and I will catch everybody later.